Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Happy Friday to everybody. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, I have put down a base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with the Blick Primary Yellow and also the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with the Amsterdam Grayish Blue. What I'm going to do today is a funnel pour. And let's go over the balance of my paints. I'm using some regular acrylic paints and I'm also using some Color Art Primary Elements. So my first paint is the Golden Turquoise. My next paint is a combination of the Golden Teal Fluid Acrylic and also a Primary Element Teal Zircon combination of those two. Very pretty. My next color is a primary element and it is the pomegranate. My next color is another primary element and it is the wild blueberry. First time I've used this color. Looks very pretty blue. My next color is Color Art Primary Element, and this is the Lucky Apple. Again, I believe this is the first time I've used this color green. The next one is Color uh, Art Primary Element, and this one is the Mango Mamba. And the next one is again Primary Element Indian Copper Satin. And my last paint is Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Violet Fine. So my pouring medium for my base coat here was uh, one part paint to two parts Floetrol and I added some water. The pouring medium for the balance of my paints and the primary elements was uh, one ounce of the mix to uh, one scoop of the Color Art Primary Element. And I did thin that with the Josana gloss varnish, and I will show you that. And for the paints, the Golden Fluid Acrylics, again, I used one, one ounce of the um, mix and probably like a half a teaspoon of my paints, and that was thinned with water. So let's get started with, uh, and this is the little funnel I'm going to be using. And I'm going to just start in the middle, I think. First, I'm just going to put a little bit of the yellow paint in the middle here where I want to start. And I'm going to be doing this with holding the funnel in one hand and pouring my paints in the other. Starting out with just a couple of the primary elements here. And I think what I'll do is I'll fill the funnel and then move it. And I am going to be curious to see how the mix plays with the primary elements. It's the first time that I've tried using that combination and there's that iridesc iridescent violet fine there and the copper then I'm going to repeat oh there's one I didn't use yet this is very pretty I'm going to repeat my colors again. I have plenty of paint for this canvas, and if I have negative space, that's fine. As you can see, I taped around the edges of my canvas because I'm going to do I'm going to frame it in after it's all dry, I'll remove that tape. Then I'll decide what color I want to color the frame. And I will show this painting when it's all finished and dried with the frame finished. It's 
just more of the interference. And the copper. Okay, and I think to start, I'm just going to pump my funnel up and down here and slowly let paint out. And I'll just see how much paint is covering the canvas to decide if I want to pour another, some more in the funnel. Looking very pretty what's coming out so far. No silicone added to my paints today. I did not mention that. Okay, I think I will add just a little bit more paint here. And I really do like this color, so I'm going to add that first. more the interference some more of that copper some more of that yellow I want to get it brightened up a little bit here and some more of the green okay Let's add that. See what we get with that. Okay, that looks good. And I think I will give it a torch before I start tipping. We'll add a little bit more paint also around the edge here for it to help the paint move. And also some of this grayish blue from Amsterdam here on this side. Okay, and like I said, if I get negative space, that's fine. You can already see some of this lacing coming up in here. Beautiful. And I think what I'm going to do is, I know I changed my mind. Let's do some tipping here. And I will try and let you see as much as I can of this tipping process. Sometimes with the bigger canvases, it's harder to see. And when you tape your canvas off like I did today, I don't have to worry about my sides at all because they're all taped.
beautiful colors coming through here. And I found that the more that you stretch out the mix, the more effects you get. It's looking very beautiful so far. Okay, and I'm going to keep, keep stretching here. Bring that back to the middle here quick. And I'm going to go over to this corner. And I'm going to bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it here. Some beautiful, beautiful effects here. And I'm going to try and get to this corner now. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back into the middle. Take another look at it. I do really love what's going on up in here. So pretty. I think I'll try and tip to this edge over here, to that corner. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back to the center. What I find interesting is that grayish blue, I've lost a lot of it except right on the edges, but it's still really pretty. Giving it that, that effect. And I'm gonna go down to this corner now. And I'm going to bring it back. I think I'm going to try and go straight down here. Bring it back in the center first. Bring it back a little bit. I, I really love that. I'll show you the effects I really like uh, right in here. It's beautiful. And I'm going to try and bring it down now. Bring it down a bit.
Okay, and over to this corner. And now back to the center. And as I'm stretching it, this is the effects the mix is giving is just beautiful. Try and move that a little bit more and possibly this way. Gonna take a look at it now. I think I can try and stretch it down still a little bit more this way. Just a bit. See if I can get that accomplished. And it is moving. And I may even take that right off the canvas there and then stretch it back. See how that's opened up that, that center ring? It's just gorgeous. And now I will bring it back a little. Trying to be mindful of not losing any of the effects that I have going on. I'm going to give it a torch. And I think composition wise, I'm really, really happy with it. And it would go the way you're seeing it is top to bottom here. So I think I will get you down for a close-up. Tell me what you like. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And this is the upper left-hand corner. And this painting will have a little bit of negative space, not a lot, but some. I'm just so pleased with how everything worked together here. This is just going down the left-hand side. And here's the lower left-hand corner. Again, it'll have a little bit of negative space there. And I will take you up the middle just some beautiful, beautiful spots here. This is one of my favorites right in here. See how the mix gave us that lacing and some of the yellow primary elements came through. And here's over to the upper right corner. Again, there'll be a little bit of negative space I do like that effect in here also. The colors in here are just great. Just loving it. And here is some muted areas. Very pretty in here. That's the lower right hand corner. I'm pretty happy with this painting. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell. Choose all.
so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't to help my channel grow. That would be great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.